I think every one of us like blessed. Isn't it? Yes. If we talk about the blessing of God, our spiritual blessing, prosperity, and also breaking a breakthrough, you all like it and follow that uh, teachings. So so there is a precise and exact way how we can be connected with God to receive the blessing of God. Because of this financial challenge, I have to give up so many things that I want. So I often envy my friends who have a rich parents. So So I want you to have rich parents in my life. And sometimes when you leave your life, you face some challenge and difficulties, problem that you are not able to solve by yourself. Then in that troubles, you are struggling without knowing the solution. If there is someone who is looking for a job, there is uh, many people struggling to apply a job and getting a good job for their life. If there is someone have a dream, you struggle, you may struggle in your life to fulfill your dreams. If you have some relationship problems in your family, between your spouse or friends, then you are also going to struggle to solve this problem. When we are facing such challenge, we are waiting for someone who can help us. We wish someone uh, who is very capable and able could help us and guide us. Everyone, do you believe in God? Do you believe God is Almighty and the most powerful God in this world? If you truly believe God's power, nothing impossible in God. No matter what challenge you are facing, no matter what difficulties you are going through, you are not going to stumble or struggle. So today, through this sermon, I hope you can be connected with this Almighty God in your life. If you once become connected with God, if God becomes your Father, and if you precisely find a way how to be connected with God, from that moment, your problem is not going to be yours anymore. Your difficulties, challenge are no more yours anymore. Everything will be taken care of by God because God is Almighty God. Why do you have believing in God? If you are still struggling, that means the faith that you have is not true. Or else, even though you have a strong faith in God, if that God what whom you believe is not according to the scripture, then that God is not a true God. If you love this true faith according to the scripture, now if you are connected with God in the relationship of this faith, now you will never fail. You will conquer all. No matter what challenge, problem, difficulties, disease, come. 
songs and overwhelm your life. Na mandipikin din tingin ang ginaba ni Kula ng sangana na ang fear mo sa kanya. You are not going to be afraid of because of such problem. Ang ngayon ay sa tingin ay tingin ay tija. You will not have any fear in your heart. Ang ngayon ay nabes sa tingin ay tija. Your life will be always free. Dibili ako yung mga lain ng tingin. Your life will be always prosperous. Dibili ako yung mga lain ng tingin. Because of this faith that you have been connected with God. I don't mean that you are not going to have any problems since you believe in this God. Yes, even a true believer and someone who learn how to live by faith face many challenges in their life. But my strongest weapon that you can conquer. But as so, it's a little bit cooler. What's kind of thing you want to do about it? Don't get it about it. Amen. Just like this electricity. Just like this. No matter how this house is far away from downtown. Sometimes we see a house is built up in a very far mountain. This is kind of one of the things that you make to the top of the market. When you see this mountain, But in our border in town, there are still houses. So look at the D. But as long as this electricity is connected, go to line one two man in town where it is. If the electrical wire is properly connected to that house, but we have so much in town where it is clear. Then when the house is small, shabby, big, or luxurious or poor people's house. Regardless of the condition of that house, as long as this wire, electrical wire, is well connected from the power station to that house, you will be able to load electrical devices, and you can turn off the light. You can use every electrical thing. Amen. Just like that, regardless of the challenges and difficulties that you are facing in your life, if you are well connected with God, now to me that I'm saying, if you are well connected to the Almighty God by faith, now to me that I'm saying, I'm putting all the money that I can call. This God is going to become a solution for all the problems of your life. Amen. 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 Yes. So today, through this sermon, I hope you can be connected with God by faith. Then shall we start to be connected and to meet God? Let's start the journey then. When God uh, proposed the way for us to meet God, God suggested two ways. Between the two, I first want to introduce the first way for you to be well connected with God. God first suggested uh, this law or uh, the, the way of law. I am not a Swazi. I'm a Sidon Swazi. So if someone like me a new place or awkward place, now I become like my friends. I'm a Malaysian. I'm a Malaysian. I'm a Malaysian. I first request the map address of that location. You can let me take it. I'm from Berlin. You can let me take it here in town. So without worry, I turn on my cell phone and search that location on the Google map. So we do not have to take it. We don't have to make a phone and then tell that's it. So whichever location it is, no matter how, regardless of the distance of that location, which lens are we going to make? Which star is that? Which star is that? If I insert the location, the address of the Google Map, then if I have lens are we going to make? Then this cell phone. Navigation shows me how I can reach up to that point. So navigation shows me various ways. Navigation in concept that. Then I have to choose 
the most convenient and the fastest, uh, fastest time uh, the road route. So if I choose that way, now this navigation directly how to get into the location. So God has given all the men a very possible man of our life in this Bible. Everyone, do you have this Bible? This holy book? Yes. Then we can say that you have everything. All the solutions are written in this Bible. All the problems can be solved through this Bible. If you buy a machine or device, you will receive the manual of the uh, products as well. So if you want to use that device wisely, Conveniently. You first have to read that manual book. This manual is from the uh, uh, manufacturer. Just like that, when we live our life, when we live our life, or if you really want to meet this God, Almighty God who can always help you. You have to look for the proper route and way through this Bible. So the more you understand and have knowledge of this Bible, you will, you will be able to be connected with God based on their faith. But nowadays, many Christians are deceived by atmosphere of this world. Satan is leading so many people. Although we have this Bible, many people don't read by the Bible. It is very rare to look for someone who read Bible throughout from Genesis to Revelation. Whenever they have enough time, uh, they prefer to use cell phones, scroll, WhatsApp, and Facebook, social media, information, how many people are affected by COVID-19. If God becomes your father, if you precisely know how you 
can receive all the power and blessing from God. Na watu wanapata kile kitu watu wanajaonge mada mwisho wa dhambi ngu. Then you can live conqueror's life in this world. Na pile pile kwa mtu bi kusema you can live victorious life. Na pile pile kwa mtu au mimi you will be living like baby conqueror and live victorious life all the time. We are pile tena ta pile pile kwa mtu wa kati mtu wangu. Do you want to meet this God? We are fully in love with him. Do you want to be connected with this power of God? We are friend to my mother and mother. Then this almighty God will always help you and guide your way. Now I'm going to let my mother come here to see that for the sake that I am. Today for them two ways I heard of law or grace. Great that the pillar just to say that this is law. Same on side and say first we With God, God suggested this way of law. Uh, before we go into the plea, into the law, let us first read the Torah. Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. Here in this Bible, Lagil Bible, this verse is saying that when you are in the field, now we say so much on us me. When you get to the house, now we say me. When you are in the city, now we say the Lord pay. And you are everything also in the place. Now we go to what we are going to say. When we read this verse, we are so happy. It seems like that we are God is going to bless us with abundance. I will bless you. I will bless you. I will bless you. Bless, 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 bless. Like all of you, like the name of Sibusisu. Oh, this verse makes us happy reading that God is going to give us abundance. Bless Shelby your basket. Bless Shelby your knitting ball. Even your ball, even your everything belongs to you. Be blessed. Such a inspiring message it is. But. Facebook and the YouTube, all of 
you. The word of God today and at the If I promise, let's say, let's suppose it's not a year. If I promise that I will give one million of my money to everyone, right? in the condition of keeping 613 laws that I give you. Then I will give you one million dollars. Now, if you break, becomes happy, even though I promised that I will give one million dollars. Before you sign some contract or before you commit yourself. You have to read the condition carefully. Right? So for God to bless us all the time, whether you are going and go out, this first condition for you to keep this 613 commandments and his statutes. Which means you have to keep this law 613 all the time without breaking the law. Then I bless you. I bless you whether you are in or out. Your board, your basket, everything will be blessed. This one condition. You must observe and carefully follow all commandments. So this 630 include 10 commandments. God gave this 10 commandments in two tablets of stone through Moses. So Moses received this commandment, 10 commandment, at Mount Sinai on 1491, BC 1491. Including this 10 commandment, God added 603 commandments and statutes. So again, kulo kulo ten niya ulit si kulo niya ulit ten kulo kulo ang geta six hundred and three niya. If you want to receive blessing before God, you have to keep this commandment perfect. Now, if you want to receive blessing before God, you have to keep this commandment perfect. Now, if you want to receive blessing before God, you have to keep this commandment perfect. Do you know what is the commandment? 
Do you know? Do you, can you recite the Ten Commandments? Okay, by their concept, they think, oh, I have to keep the commandment, I have to follow the teachings of God, so that I can receive blessings. Yes, that's true. But without knowing what laws are the commandments, can you keep the law? This is one of the very ridiculous aspects in fact that many Christians follow. Even without having the basic understanding of this. Through the keeping the law. 
Colossians chapter 3 verse 10 also says Cursed is everyone those who do not continue in all things as it is written in the book of the Lord to do that through this law Now from the last verse If you want to please God by your good works, by your effort, by your keeping the commandment and following the commandment of God, you have to keep it perfect. The law you will be in trouble. So you are going to face So, while you are keeping the whole law, it's not worth in one point, you are going to help and receive all that judgment of God. So, these are the Instead of being a pastor, I'll be there to see the people that are 
even a pastor who belongs under the law keep encouraging you to follow the law. Even the church under this law keep guiding you according to the law. You have to do this. You have to do that. You have to do that. This is how even many churches confine you under the law. Because they don't have this power of God to give you the heart to overcome the desires. So, so they have no choice but to force you under the law. They keep encouraging you to follow and to keep doing something. But where are the that to learn? See, when they don't see, these are the laws. When we say that, and the law of sin and death. Romans chapter 8 says this law is a law of sin. If you stand in this law, now you all become sinners. So, yes, So many things. We are going to be under this death is eternal death. No If anyone does not keep this law, you must suffer forever in the lake of fire. That's why this law is a law of judgment. Now we don't take a long time. You don't keep this law perfect. Now I did not take a long time. judgment is waiting for you. We should get out of the way. That judgment is there who brings us to Christ. But we're full of the table. Generally, we're just waiting for us to be at Christ. Everyone, this is the whole for four point of this law. No, 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 as a tutor. What type of tutor is it? How does it guide us? There is this tutor is guiding us from these walls and laws to Jesus Christ. What does that mean? We all fail satisfy God or to receive blessing under this law. So we all failed. So we are disqualified. We only became sinner under this law. So because of this sin, we have to receive eternal judgment. So now this law is asking. Hey, you couldn't follow and keep this commandment. You couldn't satisfy me to keep this commandment. Are you going to suffer in the lake of fire forever? Oh no! That's why God knew that you are all going to be this 
disqualified and that is broken. So Jeremiah, he prophesied, I will give your new covenant to the children of Israel. Why is this new covenant seen? Through first covenant, no one could enter into heaven. Life is different. 
God, you are no more checking our deeds and behavior. Now you are going to ask us, do you have faith? Do your faith is solely according to the scripture? Do you really believe in Christ that you have been sanctified and justified? The Spirit of God guide us and lead us. May God bless all those who are watching this sermon on TV or Facebook at home. May God also bless all those uh, people who is watching this channel. May God protect us from this disease, from this difficulty so that we can live victorious life through Christ in Jesus. We give all the glory in the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yes, thank you very much.